hi, you're watching Cooking with Diane. I'm Diane, and today we're going to talk about how to clean your cast iron pan. If you have a cast iron skillet, it can be really useful in the kitchen. When taken care of properly, cast iron skillets are practically non-stick, but they don't have that toxic coating that actual non-stick pans have on them. Cast iron pans also last forever, even when it seems like they're rusty, they're old, they're beat up, they can be revived. And they're really not that expensive. This is a Lodge brand cast iron skillet, and I bought it new 10 years ago for $20, and it's served me well ever since. However, cast iron can be a little bit tricky if you don't know how to take care of it. That non-stick coating I was talking about comes from a layer of patina, which is all of the oil, grease, butter, fat that I've been using to cook with building up on the bottom of the pan and actually bonding with the metal of the pan. If that patina is washed away with soap, it'll dry out the pan. So if you have a cast iron pan that seems really dry and your food is sticking to it a lot, perhaps it just hasn't built up that patina of oil that's bonded to the pan. So you might have heard some people say, don't wash your cast iron pan. But that's kind of weird, right? Like, of course, you want to wash your pan if it's dirty. What they really mean when they say don't wash your cast iron pan is don't wash it with soap, because soap will erode that patina because soap combats grease. We want to keep the grease in the pan, but we don't want to keep like random bits of food in the pan. So when you wash your cast iron pan, you might do it one of two ways. The way I like to wash my cast iron pan is with water and a scrubby sponge, no soap. Other chefs disagree with me and say, don't even put water in the pan because water can also dry out cast iron. In that case, you're gonna to want to scrub your cast iron with salt and oil. I'm going to show you how to do both today so first I'm going to show you how to scrub your cast iron pan with salt and oil. So here is my dirty pan. You can see yesterday I cooked some mushroom gravy in it and there's still lots of bits of congealed gravy stuck to the sides of it. So we're going to scrub this out with using salt as our scrubber instead of a sponge, instead of any water. So this is the salt I'm using, Diamond Crystal Kosher Salt. I like to use kosher salt for this because it's kind of coarse, so it's going to scrub well. And it's also really cheap. This giant 48 ounce box is only, it's less than $5. So you really don't want to use your nice Himalayan pink sea salt for this. Then to help facilitate moving the salt around in the pan, I'm just going to pour in some oil. This is regular canola oil or vegetable oil. And I find that if I try to use paper towels for this, they just get ripped up and leave little bits of paper all over my pan. So you want to use your dirtiest, oldest rag to do this because it is going to get dirty. And you just mix the oil into the salt and that creates your scrubbing mechanism. And then you just really go around the pan and rub the salt into the dirty parts. Salt is naturally antibacterial, so this is going to help sanitize your pan as well as clean it. Okay, so once you think you've scrubbed off all of the stuff that's stuck to the sides and bottom of the pan, you're just going to brush the salt into the trash. So that's how you would clean your cast iron with salt and oil. That's the old school way to do it. That's how I had to do it when I was training. Um, but honestly, at home, I really don't think it's worth it. I end up getting salt all over my kitchen. I use up all my salt that I'd rather use in my food. And then my cast iron still doesn't even get that clean. I think if I really, really wanted it clean using this method, I would have to do a couple rounds of salt. 
but I just don't want to put in that much effort. I find that using water will take any schmutz off much more easily than me having to scrub it with salt. And I find that it doesn't ruin the patina. So let's go over to the sink and I'll show you how to clean your cast iron using water. So here we are over at my sink. If I'm doing a bunch of dishes, I'll usually wait until the end to do my cast iron because I wanna be able to put it in the bottom of the sink so that it doesn't splash while I'm trying to wash it. And I also don't want it to come in contact with any soap. So this is the sponge that I use to wash my other dishes with soap and water. And this is the sponge I use to wash my cast iron. This is steel wool. Um, you might see it in the store as steel sponge or steel scrubber. It's actually made from metal and it's going to scrub everything off your pan. You wouldn't want to use this on a pan like a nonstick pan that has a coating you could accidentally scrub off, but it's perfect for using on cast iron pans because this will do the scrubbing work for you and you won't have to scrub that hard. So I'll usually start by putting a little bit of water in the pan and that will dissolve whatever schmutz has congealed on the sides of the pan. And as long as I've been taking care of my pan properly and maintaining that patina, Nothing should really be so stuck to the pan that a little bit of water won't take it off. So once the water is in the bottom, I just use the steel bowl and scrub all the stuff off the bottom and it should come right off. All right, once it seems scrubbed and nice and smooth, you just rinse it off front and back. So now I have my cast iron pan that is wet but clean. So whether you've decided to wash your cast iron with salt or with water, there's still one more step before we're done. And this is especially important if you've used water for your cast iron. You never want to leave your cast iron wet because as I mentioned, water will make it rust. So we're going to dry the pan, but not with a towel. We're going to dry it on the stove top to get it hot and then we're going to rub it with a little bit more oil that's going to help keep that patina nice and fresh. So let's go over to the stove and I'll show you the last step in cleaning your cast iron pan. So you can see my pan is wet from washing it. I'm going to turn it on to low heat. And then I dry it just like this using the stove instead of using towels to dry it. I just let the heat evaporate the water on low heat, this can take about five to 10 minutes. So feel free to do this while you're doing other things, but don't forget that your stove is on. So once your cast iron is dry, you can put in a little bit of oil. You don't need a lot, just a teaspoon to a tablespoon. And then either use a kitchen towel or a paper towel to rub the oil around the pan. We don't want pools of oil. We just want a nice even sheen all around the sides and bottom of the pan. Just remember that the pan is hot. And because cast iron is porous, now that it's hot, it will absorb the oil and that'll help keep it from drying out. So next time I use it, it won't seem oily around the edges. It should just seem nice and glossy and smooth. Don't forget to turn off your heat. So now my cast iron is nice and clean. So just to recap what we did, step one, you scrub out the schmutz either with salt and oil or with water and steel wool. Step two, heat the pan until it's totally dry and hot, and then add about a teaspoon of oil and rub
rub it around with a towel. Then of course, make sure you turn off the stove and let your pan cool before you try to put it away. If you wash and oil your cast iron like this every time you use it, it will last for your whole lifetime and probably a lot longer after that. It will work really well. It will be virtually nonstick and it will be easy to clean. Thank you so much for watching Cooking with Diane. I hope this was helpful. Take care of your kitchen instruments and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.